Hi, Alison Mead from Silicon Bullet here with another top bookkeeping tip. And today I'm going to talk about postponed VAT in uh, Sage 50, Sage 50C. So since Brexit, when you do imports, you have the um, you have the option of choosing to postpone your VAT. So instead of paying the VAT on imports to the um, importer, to whoever it is that brings it into port and then checks the VAT value and sends you your VAT certificate with your import duty, you can let them know that you are doing postponed VAT. And then you will just have to pay the duty and charges and then you will get a uh, a certificate or a notification to say how much VAT is postponed and you need to report that VAT on your VAT return. So I was having a little play about in Sage 50C and just double checking exactly how this will work because it might well be that you get a VAT amount that you've never paid out and you've never paid in but you've got to get it into Sage in the VAT right boxes on the VAT return. So it does say that if you're using postponed VAT, then you can use, I think it's tax code T18, but it, it's in there. If you have a look, it'll tell you which the postponed VAT code is. So I merrily went into the Sage demonstration company. And this is on the scenario that, let's give you an actual scenario. I bought some products from a company in Germany and I bought them in euros and I've paid them and I just get an invoice from the company in Germany just for the products and at the time I don't know what the VAT is. So what I'm going to do is put my purchase through and um, there's going to be an amount in the net column and there's going to be nothing in the VAT column and uh, some people just use T2 exempt expenses or if you're wanting to keep a proper track of your imports you could choose to use another tax code for all your imports that is just going to put the amount of the purchase into box 7 nothing anywhere else but then later on you find out how much the postponed VAT is what you can do at that point is you can put an purchase invoice in the system you can use nothing in the net column you can put the whole amount of VAT in the VAT column and what I chose to do was I chose to use the importer and the carrier's account to put this through but no money will be changing hands and you will use the postponed VAT tax code. The problem with this in my demo data is the tax code that Sage told me to use wasn't set up correctly as the postponed VAT tax code. You can download a help screen from Sage, from their support, that basically tells you each tax code, what it should be used for, and then exactly what the configuration support is that so for that. So if you go to settings and go to configuration, that's where you see all your tax codes. And when you click on any tax code, it tells you what Sage is going to do in the background when you use that tax code. And basically, for just the VAT element of a postponed VAT code, what you need Sage to do is put a VAT amount in box one and a VAT amount in box four, but then nothing anywhere else. And it also needs to leave the fact that you don't actually owe anything to the supplier. So when I edited my tax code as per the list and put that through, it all worked fine. If this sounds a little bit complicated to you and you want some help, why not just book an hour of my time and I can follow this same process with you using your accounts and get the tax code set up correctly for you. And once you know which tax code and what it does in the background, then actually doing this post-Brexit VAT, it isn't that complicated. You've just got to think about what needs to be reported to the HMRC, what VAT boxes you want it to go in, and use the code. So, if you need to get in touch with me, 
go to siliconbullet.com to find my website which is also linked to my blog with lots of advice um, go to subscribe to silicon bullet on youtube look for me alison mead from silicon bullet on linkedin um, and connect with me send me a message and let's see if we can save your confusion and help you get this all sorted so even if you think it's broken it's easy to get it fixed so that in the future all you need to remember is what tax code to use in sage and what to put in the net and back columns and then sage will do the rest for you that's alison from silicon bullet signing off bye